Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this Power Platform Fundamentals PL900 certification course. In this video, we are going to learn about Introduction to Power Apps. Let's look at the lesson objectives for this video. We will learn about what Power Apps are and the business value they create. And we will learn about how one of the world's largest airport is digitalizing its processes using Power Apps. And we will see Power Apps in action as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's understand what is Power Apps and what it can do for you. Do you have an inefficient or legacy business processes that you would like to modernize? Or are you still moving information around using paper or even shared Excel workbook? Or do you want to be able to perform these business processes from different devices like PC or mobile phones? Then you need Power Apps. Power Apps is a no code, low code platform for building apps that builds off concepts similar to formulas in Excel workbooks such as Sum and Text. You can use Power Apps to build simple solutions like vehicle inspection forms and status reports or complex business solutions for purchasing processes and inventory management. If you can envision an app to solve business problem, then you can use your existing skills to build it. And Power Apps can work with your data where it lives as well. When modernizing a paper-based process, there are likely systems in your organization with data you can leverage. With Power Apps, you have choices. With over 275 connectors, you can easily connect to the data using the underlying data service and app platform, common data service, or multitude of online and on-premises data sources. Some of the common data sources include common data service, SharePoint, Dynamics 365, SQL Server and Azure SQL and Office 365. So you don't have to choose just one data source. Power Apps easily support multiple data connections, allowing you to bring together from many platforms into a single app. And you can bring different types of Power Apps for different scenarios as well. With Power Apps, you can create types of apps like Canvas, model-driven portals, etc. Each of these types are suited for different scenarios and end users. So let me take you through this one by one. So what are Canvas apps? Canvas apps are a great option when you want to build an app from a blank canvas. You start by choosing the screen size, tablet or mobile. Then you have a blank screen from which to build and you can interact with the data in your app by adding data sources. Drag and drop various controls and add the desired functionality by writing Excel style formulas. Canvas apps provide you complete flexibility when building your apps. So this is a screenshot of an example of a mobile Canvas app built by the Heathrow Airport. So let us understand what is model-driven apps. Model-driven apps build from data in the common data service. With model-driven apps, there is no need to worry about choosing the app size. It is responsive, meaning it works on mobile or tablet with no extra work by you. You define the relationships, forms, values, business rules, and more at the data layer. Inside of the common data service, giving you enough control to get your business result without writing any formulas yourself. And this is an example of a fundraiser donations tracking model driven app. The next kind is portals. Portals bring the power of no-code solutions to building externally facing websites. Through the Power Apps interface, you can build an anonymous or authenticated website that allows users to interact with data held in a common data service. The same drag and drop experience you enjoy when building app is available to build these rich interactive websites. Prior to Power Apps, adding functionalities such as image recognition or prediction models required advanced computer knowledge. There was code to write, data models to design and train, and a whole lot of complicated logic. But Power Apps has democratized artificial intelligence by providing a, providing a wizard-based interface for building and training your model. 
the AI Builder Prediction Model allows you to create a model that can predict yes or no outcomes based on historical data. You train the model by providing historical data that includes the yes or no outcome and the artificial intelligence does the rest. Power Apps also has its own set of PowerShell commandlets for app creators, administrators and developers that allow you to automate many of your administrative duties. A common use case of PowerShell commandlets is to automate the discovery and permission management of all apps in your tenant, allowing you to better understand and manage apps as they are created and spread throughout your company. And Power Apps allows even the most entry level users to reduce paperwork, increase process efficiency, and ensure a single source of truth by combining multiple data sources into one app. So let's look at a customer case study. In this instance, we are looking at a Heathrow Airport case study done by Microsoft. Heathrow Airport is one of the world's busiest airport and models a small city in complex and traffic. With over 76,000 people working on a day-to-day -day basis and 200,000 travelers passing through, there is a stronger need to continually optimize operations. One way to accomplish this goal is through a digitalization process. Part of that effort included adoption of Microsoft Office 365 for all employees and later use of the Power Apps. At Heathrow Airport, they have attacked the process of digital transformation by empowering the frontline workers to build apps and solve problems. This revolution began with Samit Saini, who decided to show what could be accomplished with Power Apps. Saini's business change manager. Saini's business change manager requested a further look into the value of Office 365, which led Saini to Power Apps. Saini began developing an app that which held security information translated into dozens of different languages. Previously, this information was kept in the book located at Security Checkpoint, and Saini set out to improve the experience. From the success of that first app, there are now dozens of apps and an official process for creating and implementing new apps. So there is a demo app which emulates the process which what Sunny have done in the Heathrow airport. But I am unable to download this video and put it in the training module. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to play out the video and I'm going to give you a walkthrough and what are the benefits of having a power app. All right, so to get started, let's take a look at the Contoso airport app. This app is a simplified recreation of one of the original apps that Samit built at Heathrow Airport. The idea is the traveler can choose their language that they wish to communicate with and then the airport employee will be able to provide them with the additional information. So here you can see I choose between English and Spanish or French. If I choose Spanish, the interface updates the language here. To the, so then now we have both visual representation and the translated word for transportation, banking, and restaurant. You can then choose the icon for banking, and then it would be the Spanish version. For additional information about how to interact with the banking at Heathrow Airport, you can see that one of the ways this is implemented, it was like Excel, like a formulas. If the drop-down selected code is English, then you select continue, if drop down selected code is French for French, and then it is continuer. So, this allowing you to use your existing skill set and your already business knowledge to build an app that is highly functional and solves your business need. So, now take a look at different ways you can start building your first Power App. To get started with Power Apps, you want to navigate to makepowerapps.com, and here you have access to all different resources you need whether that to be learning resources, data resources, working with common service, with an AI builder, solutions, flows, etc. So that concludes this video. In the next video, we're going to learn how to build a sample Canvas app. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it.